Hey, hi, hello. I think you can tell that this is gonna be a special video. So I got a comment, a singular one, asking me, hey, can you talk about your coming out story and maybe some tips or tricks? I, I don't think I'm professionally able to do that, but we're gonna give it a go because I have only been out for six months. So not not a long time. No, no, no. That's when I came out and stopped worrying about who knew, except for like, one person uh, who doesn't have the internet, so this is okay to do. So, yeah, we're gonna start with the story. We're gonna go into tips and tricks because I don't think I had a conventional coming out because I, di I didn't get to choose how it happened. So, yeah, that's that's what we're gonna talk about. Then we're gonna talk about tips and tricks, things I wish were different, even though I literally had barely any control in this situation, which is fun. And I have videos of the day after it all happened. So I have that as well. So we're gonna start at the beginning of the story. So what's important to know is that someone who's really close to me, not in any relationship capacity, is a big part of the story, but keeping them anonymous for this as much as possible, but they're gonna be important to this. So I was writing a story about lesbian fairies, as, as one does, and I get a text from this person being like, hey, you should uh, go for a walk, like go walk the dogs because we have several dogs. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've definitely heard them. They're, they're napping right now. They've had a big morning running around in the snow. So I was like, no, I'm riding. I don't want to go out. And they were like, trust me, that was it. And I was like, what? Okay, so I remember immediately like rushing to get the leashes and stuff, which is downstairs. And I didn't, grab shoes and I didn't want to go back upstairs because I was so nervous uh, or else I would have worn my unicorn flip-flops and I didn't. I wore my old Justice ones and these are the details I remember. And I met my dogs and I met them um, where we said we were going to meet and they were like, just so you know, your mom knows you're uh, uh, gay. And I was like, what? And I started crying <laughs> immediately. The you know, common theme in this story is I, I, I've cried, I cried several, several times. <laughs> As, as one would do. So obviously I didn't plan that. Like there were only five people who, who knew. A random person in my cup class who I just felt like telling because they didn't know me. I didn't know them. I was like, all right. And we bonded because that class was weird. Uh, Pre-cal, by the way. Didn't take calculus because I didn't want to. And then you know, my friend who found out for anyone because she said to me, I think you're a lesbian. I was like, what? I was like, you're right. And then three of them, one of whom forgot when I told her, which was really funny. One other person, I needed advice. And then this person, so I told eight people. So eight people knew. And oh, one of them I told, I should not have told. They were an older person who was friends with my mom and knew my mom very well. The, this person is was like a sibling to me, kind of like an older sibling. And I was like, okay, so they had more of that relationship with my mom. So if I ask them, maybe, cause I, I'd been planning actually the day before I was planning on telling my mom and I will tell you all how I actually planned on coming out. Cause it was a stupid idea, but we'll, we'll get to why. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna get advice from this person. So I asked about that and that is how my mom found out. Not through half, like I'm putting some blame on them because I have to, I like, I, it's my fault, but also it's their fault, but I'm not mad. I'm made up with this person. So that's, that's all there is to it. I'm not mad at this person ever watch this. I'm not mad at you. So they ended up telling my mom through kind of an accident. By the way, I'm finding this all out as I'm walking my dog <laughs> because my friend is told and I'll explain how they were told about this. So we're gonna call them Kevin. They were informed by another one of my friends who we will call Lydia because that's the name that came in my head. So Lydia basically her mom and my mom are friends. So her mom went out to brunch with my mom and my mom mentioned that I was gay. And in a way that made it sound like, wait, does your daughter know that you know type thing? So she told her daughter and her daughter started crying cause she was like, oh no, this is awful because obviously I didn't want my mom to know. And she knew that. And so she texted Kevin because Kevin was the only one who she thought could, would figure out what to do. And they did because they're great and they always have a plan for everything when everything blew up in my face. And so she texted Kevin and Kevin was like, 
all right, I'll get her out of the house. So, so they got me out of the house and they're like, let's go over to Lydia's house because I was supposed to have a sleepover uh, my friend Lucy's house because we were going to run fair later. So we were like, okay, we're gonna say we're having a game night and we're just gonna go get Culver's. So, you know, we go get Culver's as, as one would do in a situation like this because we're scared out of our minds. So they're like, okay, go get your stuff. We're gonna go to get Culver's and then we'll go over there and you can figure out what to do from there. Yes, and I was like, yes, okay. So we have, I cry like one more time before that and we end up in Culver's. Um, and so I'm wearing this shirt, this exact shirt in Culver's, uh, which is why I wore it today. And the guy who's taking your order, it starts like trying to list all these and I'm like helping him and he thinks it's cool. And then his friend who's at the counter next to us, cause it's not busy cause a little before dinner rush and also it's Culver's so most people get lunch there. So uh, she's also trying to name them. And then I'm like, okay, great. And then we wait for food and someone else compliments me. This is weird. People are complimenting my shirt, making me feel good, being like, yeah, we like gay people. And it's at a Culver's. So we leave. We go to my friend's house. We talk. We cry. I try to figure out what to do. The, the, the new plan is found out, okay, my mom knows, so I'm going to tell her and come out to her tomorrow. And that's gonna be the situation because that kind of is what has to be done. But for now, I'll be fine. However, that is not what happened because this night gets longer. Lydia's mom feels miserable about this because she's like, oh, I've caused an issue. Lydia's mom is the sweetest lady in the world. I love her. She's so kind. She's so nice. She knew exactly what to say. She's like, if you need a place to say, if anything goes wrong, you are always welcome here. And she's like, but I also texted your mom because I felt really bad about the situation. She's coming over. And my mom ends up here. And and I'm mad. I, I don't know why I'm mad. I shouldn't be because th th this story is where everything goes wrong, but also nothing goes wrong. And again, I'm doing this because someone asked me to tell this story and then give advice. So you have to understand, I don't think this is normal because I've had other friends come out to their parents and this is not the situation. You know what I mean? It's a lot more uh, quick and clear to the point. Either it was they're fully accepting, they're kind of accepting, think they don't care, or it's been bad. And that's kind of the spectrum, right? But this is the crazy uh, adventures of me, right? Because I am the main character. So it has to be weird. Basically, uh, I end up in Lydia's yard talking to my mom. Uh, so we end up like talking and it's weird. It is really weird because you know, usually you, you get the moment where you tell someone, right? Didn't get that. Like I remember watching that Kristen Stewart Christmas movie. I forgot what it's called. And there's a scene in it where it's like, everyone shares that moment right before they tell their parents. I was like, I didn't get that. So no, wrong. But I still cried at that moment because it was really sweet. That was taken care of for me. So basically we talked and I'm gonna say some things and I'm not mad. I'm not mad at anyone in this situation, but I'm gonna say things that kind of ticked me off a little bit because obviously I feel like those things that need to be shared. And I can't say felt like it was just a quick, like, you know, we accept you, yada, yada, yada. The one thing I was worried about is my mom thought I was dating any of my friends, but she said, they're always over at our house. I would have known. And I was like, oh, Thank God, because that would have been weird. Yes, we are good on that front. However, and I think this is something that I've noticed with a lot of liberal parents is the, why would you think I would care kind of like deal? Like why would this be an issue? Why wouldn't I love you any less? Like why would you think that? And offendedness by this because the world is a lot more accepting of you now and people don't care and I was like but people do care because remember especially in middle school I had a friend who came out and I remember the horrible horrible way that people would treat them I also like okay this is so weird because I don't like this show that much but in love Victor there's a scene in the first season where his dad says, why would I care about the sexuality of one of your friends or not my kid? And I, obviously I didn't think my parents had any malice because it is different when it's your own kid versus someone you know. Cause I never thought it was an option for me. And I realized that was not my parents' intention, but that's how it felt. Like it was not an option for me. I would have to like a guy. And it is not their fault because our culture has made heterosexuality the norm. And so you expect at some point that I will like a guy. I remember very clearly, I didn't think I could have male friends for like the longest period of time because I would have to be attracted to them and I wasn't. And so to me, I, I got upset that she was upset that 
it would be hard for me to think that maybe it would change things or that like they wouldn't believe me or maybe i was just doing something trendy and that was not her fault that was the internet's fault because the internet likes to pretend that being gay is a trend and that there's only like one gay person in a friend group when the truth is we all flock to each other but something was said and i i take a lot more mean things or hurtful things and i internalize them because i don't want to make other people around me mad so there were other things that were said that made me upset and my dad wasn't there but there was something that she said well this might be uh something he thinks or he believes and i was like okay however that made good old kevin storm off the night went got a little crazier after that so after i was like well i'm still gonna go have a sleepover at my friend's house because what else am i gonna do i'm supposed to go to ren fair right and early in the morning and i'll go home and get my charger so i get there and then i get kind of like a text like we don't know where kevin is so the new mission now is to find Kevin because they drove me in their car and they didn't take that when they left because they couldn't because my mom was parked in front of it so it was a whole thing so they didn't have that so they were walking around and no one knew where they had went so we had to go look for them so I get in my car and uh, I'm the one to pick Kevin up and we find them but we, our d, d group all convened at my friend Luce's house except for two because we'd found them before and they had like a 30 minute drive out so we were like uh, the, 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 but they were they were in their cars they were coming and we were like nope we found them it's fine and now it's just a small group of us it's really late and we're all just kind of up crying and because a lot had happened I had not planned on coming out. Kevin had ran away. It didn't go amazing, the whole thing. And we went back in. I had my moth stuffed in while I was hugging that. At Luce has a bigger one too, and I was hugging that one too. I was hugging both of them. And we just talked for a bit, and it was really quiet. It was, finally was quiet, I think. And then Luce and I watched High School Musical too. And then the rest is in the Red Fair vlog. So. Yeah, if this video ever gets posted, it's just me saying that people still do get outed and it's so scary and awful and terrifying and I'm lucky I have the best friends in the entire world and I do mean the entire world um, with me. So that's the story. Now, tips advice stuff like that Woo. all right so my original plan for coming out was i had a list of things so i could get a word in because we thought covid would be over i was supposed to be going to california so i was gonna send an email with everything i wanted to say while i was in california so my parents would have to sit on it and couldn't ask me anything which i get is a great way to not take responsibility for the situation but i didn't know what was gonna happen and i'm a coward who hates confrontation so that was the plan i still have the stuff written down on a google doc now i have been planning this for two years and i had been talking to my therapist about it oh that was another person who knew my therapist because she can't tell anyone that's the point point. and it was a bad plan here's why it was a bad plan because one, what was I expecting from that? I think it would have been an insult to my parents if I did that. And two, they would have freaked out a lot. There's a small chance they would have hopped on a plane to California, which would not have been a financially good decision. Or they would have called me and been really mad. And I didn't want to do that over the phone. I didn't know how I wanted to do it. So I can't give advice on that moment. The only thing I can say is the two things that I had that I think everyone needs if you're going to come out to your parents you need to know that you are going to be safe and I knew I was going to be safe I just didn't know what was gonna happen and the second thing I had and that you need is someone who will be by your side and that doesn't have to be a partner all i know a lot of people are like well the way i'm going to come out is i just want to bring someone home but i feel like that's a way too scary option and that's a lot to put on your partner too which if they're down for that they're down for that you know but like that's something you need to discuss with them because that is a situation that could go bad if you don't know what's going to happen so you don't need a partner I, I haven't had one yet that's another thing i thought would go wrong is i would be asked really invasive questions about what i have and have not done literally nothing has been done that also is probably because i'm 
grayscale, which is something I'm not planning on explaining to people who just don't need to know about that because they won't understand it. The internet can know that because who cares? It's the internet and you guys don't know me. But you need someone. You need people who will support you and who will love you no matter what. And I promise you that there will be someone out there who does because there's more of us out there and even there's good allies who care for you. So basically, I would say even though it was an accident, my experience was more like being outed. So I can tell you how to handle that. And I, what I can tell you how to handle that is reach out to the people who are going to care for you. I think it's great if you know an older figure in your life who is not gonna care because like Lydia's mom helped me so much in that situation just being there and Lydia and Kevin and all these friends who made sure that I was all right and that I was okay and that we would stick together because obviously we would and uh, the, the people who love you no matter what and the people whose opinions aren't gonna change about you just because they know something about you, those are the people who you need in your life. When you come out, it's in stages. Like I came out to all of the people before separately. No one was at the same time. And the, the first person, it was just like a conversation. It was so easy. I think it's because she was a lesbian too. So, and that didn't change how she saw me in any way. And that was the same with all the first people I told. It didn't change anything and it's kind of free now to just be able to crack jokes about it and to say things but it took me a minute to get to this point and I, in some ways you have to grow enough to not let the opinions of strangers mean anything to you but you also have to realize that if people change the way they think about you who are important to you then how important to you are they and i know that's a hard thing because you still want people in your life like there's still a person i can't tell I just don't feel comfortable doing it because I want her in my life, even if I don't know what the opinion would be. I don't think you can be ready or accept yourself fully. I don't know. I didn't. I thought the reason that I wasn't ready was because I didn't accept who I was. And I still, to this day, have the tendencies to try to disprove it. And I, like, I can't because I see a picture of Florence Pugh and it's all out the window, you know what I mean? I think you have to have people who will support you and who won't see you differently and who will be by your side no matter what happens. And I think you don't have to tell everyone immediately. Obviously you can't start, but if you don't, you have to be careful with the people you tell. The world will always be scary for you. You just have to find the people who will make you feel comfortable in a world that has tried to destroy us for hundreds and hundreds of years because we can't go anywhere. And I, you know what, if you want to come out, I support you because you should be allowed to live your life freely. And if you are someone who's like, well, I want to keep this to myself, you keep it to yourself. You do not have to come out if you want to. If that would be good for you, you should, if you are safe to do so. Once you tell someone, it becomes less in your control. So the more people you tell, the less control you have over it. I have always had the belief that a secret is only safe if one person knows it. Then it's a secret. It's not a secret if someone else knows it. And you have to find the people who, if you want to tell someone, because you can tell people in chunks, it works. I know people who are out online and who aren't out to their parents, and I know people who are out to their friends, but who aren't out to, and I know all this combination. I know people who are out, but aren't really feeling like telling anyone. They'll tell you if you ask, and that's kind of how it is. And there's all these combinations of people, and they're all living the lives the way they want to. And if so coming out is something you want to do, is something you feel like you need to do, then you should, because I feel a lot better, and I'm able to feel like I can create more on here, even though no one watches. Someone watched my last video and asked me for this, and that felt great. And I felt like I need to explain, because it's a weird story, so good content on that, and it's also it's something that I didn't have control over. Everyone's story is so vastly different, so I was like, no one needs to hear this, but someone asked. And I was like, okay, why not? And also I didn't get the choice that I wanted. And I thought, okay, that's interesting to talk about. It's just, some of it's funny and some of it's sad. And it wasn't like, a perfect thing. And everyone has their own notions about your experience. 
from what they've seen, but your experience is something that no one can write except for you. That's the video. Make sure to like and subscribe or unsubscribe if you're like, why did you do this? And I will see you in the next one. All right, goodbye.